Yo, 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 welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. Happy motherfucking Sunday. I am meeting my friends for work. They are actually walking up now. Um, if it's your first time in the neighborhood, make sure you bring it back all the way to the bottom of the map. Make sure you go see a video called Welcome to the Neighborhood. Um, if you want to know a little bit about the channel and why I'm doing what I'm doing, go see a video called The Thing About Hope. I'll catch y'all on the other side of this video. Hit the club with that stick. We in a rental car. Me and my little soldiers in this bitch. Ready to send us one. We hit the club, thug like throwing foes, and we'll finish one. Tulu, he just got that new beamer. I'm finna get me one. Shit on one. Come through that bitch, swerve it, swerve it, swerve. Dirty, dirty, dirty. With that dirty bitch, I'm pressed back. Yo, I kill a pit bull. This reality, nigga. Slamming niggas out your own hood. This reality, nigga. I want fame, money, cars, dick. Real big. I wanted everything I saw on TV. Turn to reality. Me and the gang, we used to hang. They used to laugh at me. I told them I would pass them. Now that same nigga in back of me. Hit the club shooting guns. Was reality. I might die a murder once. This reality. You just some niggas turn dreams in reality. Have you ever turned dreams into reality? Pussy nigga. We made something out of nothing. We made something out of nothing. We made something out of nothing. I fuck with niggas turn dreams into reality. Used to gamble all night on the cone. Yo. Welcome back to the neighborhood. I don't know if I'm gonna use the first part of this motherfucking video. Uh, we'll see how it turned out. But today is business savvy Sunday. Today's business savvy Sunday. So we're gonna get a little business savvy on that ass. Just in case I don't use the first part of this video, which I think I will. Um, I just came from lunch with two of my homeboys. It's so funny. I like to think about what people think about when they see us together. Because one is Asian, a big Asian man. He ain't big, but he like he's a bigger Asian man. And then one is um Filipino and they look completely different one is married with kids and one's a, a tech geek that travels all around and take pictures they both well we all tech geeks that's 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 a part of my um it's hot as fuck but they're part of my geek squad like for real for real like we a whole bunch of nerds but i look like a ratchet hood bitch and they look like like two straight lace uh <laughs> preppy like purebred asians and purebred filipino guys but um they went out with me for my birthday. So Chris' birthday was this weekend. So we went out with him. Well, it was last weekend. So we went out with him. Shout out to Quack and Chris. Um, Quack and Chris. I met them at my job. Um, God sends you angels in different shapes, forms, and factions. Um, those guys are really clutch. Like they're really cool people. They keep me grounded, and they and they really foster my my diversity and my growth like they're really trying to make sure that that i am as diverse as they as i want for my dreams i can talk to them about my dreams and they all they both business people you know quack asian so he like you know they good with money and rice um he would uh, enjoy that joke um and then chris filipino and he good with food and nah, i he good with everything so love chris um uh, love quack but just came from lunch with them i had some i i don't even know how to pronounce what I, I i had i don't even know how to pronounce what what i ate um but we went to a filipino spot let me see if i can take my i'm gonna scoot my chair back so i won't be so close to the um to the um steering wheel so i can kind of show y'all what i had but like it was very interesting i'm gonna actually put a picture of the food here as well but like this is what i had like so that's uh poor uh, uh crackling um it's a steak in there it's red beans it's red beans and rice it's avocado it's some type of bread and then i had an egg over easy over rice um with a plantain that shit was good it was a colombian spot i love a good Colum i love i love food from all over the world so that's our thing like at work i used to always order lunch for the office and so we would always get food from all over the world and they always put me on food games so i definitely appreciate them for that but if it's your first time in the neighborhood Make sure you bring it back all the way, all the way, all the way up. Make sure you bring it back to the bottom of the map. Make sure you go to a video called Welcome to the Neighborhood. Um, if you want to know a little bit about the channel, well, go go to a video called Welcome to the Neighborhood. Watch from that video and watch each video after that. This is this is a story of my journey. Um, ugh, excuse me. Like, I do shit like that. I belch. I'm human, bitch. Um, 
well, this is the story of my journey. It's best if you watch it in chronological order. This is a masterpiece in the motherfucking making. You just don't know you have a ticket um, on the train as it being, as it's being made. If you're watching this right now, if you're watching it before all the things I'm talking about coming to fruition, you'll be like, well, girl, I'm watching it now, and you're not a millionaire. Bitch, just wait on it. Did you watch it like four days after it was motherfucking put out? Give me give me the 2030. <laughs> give me the 2030, bitch. Um, if you want to know a little bit about the channel and why I'm doing what I'm doing, go to a video called I Think About Hope. The Thing About Hope. The Thing. The Thing About Hope. Bitch, I sing a lot. I sing all of the things. And bitch, I don't give a fuck if you think I can sing or not. I think I can fucking sing. So there's that. All right. So today in an effort to organize my journey business savvy sunday so today i decided decided for myself is i'm going to be fuck i feel like i'm some people think i'm too disciplined some people don't think i'm disciplined enough i'm going to be more disciplined in like my recreational activities i'm going to plan those out better i'm going to uh i'm going to plan out my workouts a little bit better i'm going to try to just get a little bit more disciplined with myself i think that's the last thing that i need to actually uh, bring what i need to in to fruition um so i said that today i'm excited to start but with that being said me being excited to start i have to slow down and and enjoy my day because i know once i kick everything really into full steam ahead because this week is going to be a busy a busy week this week is going to be a life-changing week i have um, a meeting to start on one of the um uh, of, of one of the dreams that i i want to say that i have that i hope reaches worldwide um so i'm trying to build a a, a business frame a business plan that accounts for all of the cultures and all of the things and all of the people i intend to reach um i'm starting this now like i told y'all it took me six months for plan to plan for two years and it, it's gonna take me i know it's gonna take me way longer to plan to change the world um y'all know like it's, this is one of the things that i really have been working on like just thinking about like i like to think about get my concepts together before i even like i, I never got to work really with a team on bringing my dream together but you if you need a motherfucking team to bring your dream into motherfucking fruition you know that bitch big and um i hand pimp i hand picked this team um like like people 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 offered volunteered but everybody that volunteered some people I don't know their work ethic, but they're going to, and some people don't really know my work ethic, but they're going to learn a day. Um, but the people who, who, who I definitely made sure was on this, on this team, they know my work ethic and yo, it's about to, we about to blow this. We're about to change. Um, God, you know, God's will be done. That's my constant par prayer. Um, but business savvy Sunday, business savvy Sunday. Um, also random. So that hand fucked up because I fucking, um, I slammed my finger in the door when I was in Louisiana. I told y'all I wasn't doing nothing. This is almost a month of nails. Look at this shit. This shit still look banging. Shout out to uh, Daniel and Chris uh, and Teresa at Narrow Attention Spa and Salon in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, but even these look good. Like, And this is the growth. Like I showed y'all, you know, watching the videos in order. You, you saw me when I broke it. And so that's what it looked like now. I'm definitely going to get him to cut these down for me when I go back. Because I can't even, I can't do shit. I got, I, I put the little pearls in my ear, but my, my, the backs get caught in my nails. So I'm going to get him to cut it down for me. But all of the tangents, all of the days. Um, Today we're going to talk about branding. Not, not to be confused with Brandon, like the name, but branding, branding. Um, what is a brand? Look it up. Look it up. If you are a young entrepreneur or you are in a type of entrepreneur, I even say within a corporation, because people don't understand you can bet you can brand on somebody else's team. You can brand yourself on someone else's team. What is your brand? Who are you? What do people think of when they think of you and they think of business? That's your brand. Do they think, ah oh, no, nah, I'm not gonna do business with that motherfucker? <laughs> That motherfucker don't don't email me back. That motherfucker don't respond. That motherfucker all over the place. That motherfucker. What does your brand look like? How are you dressed? How do you present yourself? I know when people see me, like especially the people who know me, they already know I'm gonna be dressed to the motherfucking nines, whether it be ghetto hoops or pearls. Um, and I'm always gonna have something to say, and I'm always gonna be prepared. I'm always gonna be on time. I'm actually gonna be salty if you're not on time. Um. I'm always going to be well put together. I'm always going to speak well. And I'm always going to be me. And that's the one thing about my brand that I love. I'm always going to be me. And anybody who knows me, anybody who hires me, anybody who wants my services, they have to understand what they're getting and they're getting me. I'm not getting who you paid me to be. I'm not getting what the world wants me to be. I'm You're getting me. Um, and what you got to understand is everybody ain't, ain't for you. 
everything ain't for you and, and my homeboy i told y'all when i first started this he was just like who are you who is this for and it's for everybody and that's a part of the master plan that's a vision and really quickly i i, I don't want to go off on this tangent but this really been sitting on my head on my brain like having a vision being a visionary is it's hard because it's a lot of things that you do that don't nobody understand what it look like but you and a lot of people don't you like you can't explain it to people sometimes you just gotta see it sometimes you just can't say nothing and people will tell you what they think your vision should look like but only you got the vision and God gave that vision to you for a reason. That's kind of, it kind of go back to the message we had yesterday. Like God talked to you a certain way for a reason. So the vision I got, like, and it's so hard, especially as I go throughout the years, people going to tell me what I can do with my, what I'm doing, but I know my vision. Even with, even with YouTube and subscribers and things like that, it's hard not to fall into the hype. It's hard not to fall into the like, share, subscribe shit. Um, and, and, and I know I understand that that's how the business is, but that ain't what this is. This ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got told a peace dealer when he did my interview, I'm not really trying to sell no shit. I'm just trying to give hope. So, it is what it is. Like, I feel like you would be led to like, share, and subscribe. Like, your spirit's going to lead you to like, share, and subscribe if this is for you. And it's like, oh, shit, I love this. How can I feed back into or get any energy back into this? Um, What's understood ain't got to be explained. <laughs> and that's really how I'm going to approach this. So, if you're a visionary, if, 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 if you know what you want, do it. Because everybody not going to see your vision. And sometimes you got to go by your motherfucking self. And it's hard to go by yourself. It is. Especially when everything around you look like something different. When everywhere you go look like a certain way. Look like it has to be a certain thing. How bad do you believe in your motherfucking self? I believe in myself. And sometimes my dreams scare me. But if your dreams don't scare you, you ain't dreaming big enough. I was talking to, I told you, the, the young lady, um, Toby Jackson. Shout out to her. I was talking to her and... um. And that's one of the conversations. That's one of the things she said to me before we got off our call today. If your, your dreams don't scare you, you ain't doing something right. And she's an older lady. But that's neither here nor there. Not to be confused with TJ, the other person, which is a young man. But that's here nor there. So, Brandon, what is your brand? How do you brand? What does that look like? Um, I used to tell people when I was in law school, how my name is Greatness, but you could call me Leanne. Um, I, I think I've ele elevated from greatness and I, I'm, I'm remarkable. Like, I want people to be meet me and be stunned, shocked, appalled. <laughs> I want them to be stunned, shocked, and appalled at who I am and what came out of my mouth. Because a lot of the times, 10 out of 10 times, you already judged me before you saw me. Like I said, when I, I, I love to, I would love to know what people think of me when I walk up like this with my two, my Asian and my fucking Filipino friend. They but like, what the fuck are they like? What the fuck is going on? What is going on, my friend? I'm a hundred percent sure people fucking brains explode because they'd be like, what is this bitch doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why is she with these niggas? Because they're my niggas, they're my riders. Um, but my brand is not perfection because I believe perfection doesn't exist. But I'm coming, day I'm close. Anybody who know me, anybody who ever seen me work, anybody who ever seen me bring something into fruition, they already know I'm going ghost because I'm I'm making sure every T is crossed and every I is dotted. And I'm doing the details. Like we can work on this as a team, but the details going to go to me because I'm an artist and I'm I'm an artist. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my mother fucking shit i'm an artist and a sensitive about my shit and it's not that it's not about me and i get that it's not about me but if i'm giving something to the world i want it to work i'm not giving something to the world so that i could just i fuck fuck my name my name ain't never gotta be on it but i feel better knowing that i'm giving something to the world that won't fail god is able and he won't fail god is able and he won't fail God worked through me. God is able and he won't fail. And so all of my work is a reflection of God being able and him not failing. That's that's my brand. What's your brand? How do you move? I like the way you move. Mm -mm -mm. I like the way you move. What's your move? And can people tell you from a mile away? So crazy thing. So I went in. Uh, I got there before my friends today. <laughs> and... um. 
I had to reserve a seat because we had none of us had ever been there. That was our first time eating at the spot. And so I got in. Nobody in that bitch spoke English. Um, so I, I got in, wrote, they took our name so we could get be seated. She told me 25 minutes. So the lady came out looking for people to sit to be seated. And Chris was like, is she calling your name? That's one of my uh, my good friends. And Chris was like, and I was like, so I went up to talk to her. And she and she looked at me. She saw me walking towards her and she waved me back. She was like, not you. And Chris was like, oh, she remember who you is? I said, Chris, there's not many people in the world that meet me and don't remember who I am. <laughs> it bees like that bees in the trap Be- bees in the trap it bees like that um i don't try to be like i ain't do nothing spectacular but that's just the reality of my life um and i i i, I told like i i'm leo sun scorpio rising and libra moon and for all my non hippy dippy people like my scorpio rising really don't like people to be in my fucking business i really don't like to be the fucking center of attention however 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 like the little bouncy ball that y'all used to see on the little sing-alongs how fucking ever however um the reality is i am people 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 gonna look whether you know whether i'm doing bad or good people gonna look at me People going to want to know who I am. People going to be all of that shit. So if that's the reality of, 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 of reality, despite what it is that I want, then I got to make sure I get a people. Got to give the people. Shout out to Jalen and fucking Jacoby. One of my favorite shows. Also, shout out to Million Dollars Worth of Game. I love you guys. If you ever see this, y'all got to let me be a fucking guest on y'all show. Oh, also, I said, I kept saying Fendi yesterday. Fenty. I, I'm I'm country and I got a lazy tongue, but I'm definitely trying to be a Fenty ambassador one day. Brianna, me, you, let's smoke a blunt and take pictures. B, a, um, but Fenty. I I always wear Fenty, but um, million dollars worth of game. Jalen and Jacoby, I fucking love you. Um, also, one random off subject, but uh, still a cancer business Saturday, business business savvy Sunday. Um. I was talking to my coworker about Nick Foles. You got to know how to do business and not get caught up in the hype. My dad used to always fucking tell me, if I got a freshman and I got a, a senior on the team and the freshman can do what the senior can do, I'm going to run the freshman. I'm going to run the freshman because the freshman is already at the place that the senior, the senior about to conk out. So I got so much more I can teach this senior, this freshman, as opposed to teaching this senior. We were talking about the Eagles and how I was so upset how Calamari Wentz, after Nick Foles won the Super Bowl, how they put Calamari Wentz, um, I know that's not his name, um, it's Carlton Wentz, I believe that's his name, but how they put him back on the motherfucking field and started him, and everybody was like, it's the contract, it's the contract. Listen, sometimes I'm still going to pay you that motherfucking money, just sit your stupid ass on the bench. Well, he is the legacy. He wasn't winning y'all the motherfucking Super Bowl before he got hurt. He wasn't getting y'all nowhere. He was just a fucking name and a first round pick. Just because somebody a first round pick, sometimes that's a fluke. Sometimes it's a fluke. Sometimes. Ah, oh, quack. Um, sometimes it's a fluke. Sometimes you pick somebody and they was good. Like fucking, what's his name? Um, Winston. Uh, James Winston. Like, <laughs> He was good, but he went to where? Like, I think it might have been the Bears. And you already hear nothing about Winston. And that nigga was a beast. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, just knowing and understanding how to do business. Like, sometimes you got to look. You got to take the situation for what it is. Like, there's no reason why the Eagles should have motherfucking kept Carlton uh, Wentz as the motherfucking starting quarterback the following year after Nick Foles won a Super Bowl for them. You could see that the team was cohesive. You could see that the team, um, like, played well together but because of something because of looks they motherfucking kept calling Murray Wentz now look at him who the Eagles Eagles who what you know so that's another business tip you gotta know how to play smart sometimes just because you got that contract I don't have to play you I'm still gonna pay you though so calm down sit down take this motherfucking money and shut the fuck up let me put fucking Wentz in the game not Wentz walking around like a nomad man y'all put take Wentz to the Saints and sit breeze down but that's another st- conversation for another day. I'm not even a, hu- a huge sports fan. I just always dated guys that like sports. And so that's something about me. Like I always try to learn about the things that my spouses are into because I, I love to be able, I love to, you know, be able to talk to them about the things they like as well. Um, 
And also, small thing about me, I was a uh, the, the intramural supervisor when I was in college. So I had to learn the, the rules to all the sports. So I, I'm just very technical when it comes to the sports too. Oh, also, I am not in a gang. I'm not affiliated with a gang. Though I do know some bloods. I don't know any Crips, but I, we can be friends too. I think uh, I think the ghetto nun might be a Crip. Hey, ghetto nun. But I just like, I can't walk around with a crown. So I just wear my little rags. But I love, like, I love different headbands. And the only reason why y'all ever see me in red is because of Corona. All the mother fuckers bought all the cute colors so but this my little makeshift crown it's my hood crown bitch <laughs> it's my hood crown bitch when i walk with this shit on people know i ain't in no in no gang but they like bow down bow down bitches um fucking beyonce boys beyonce boys yonce 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 um so that's that that's that but business savvy sunday what's your brand are you intentional about your brand and everything you do in your life, what is that a part of your your brand? Like, and 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 is any part of your brand you ashamed of? Like, or is there any part of you right now that you would be ashamed of to, for your business partners or anybody to hire you to know? Like, is what you doing and and how you are is that beneficial to your brand? Branding is extremely important. Like my dad he flips houses he's, he's working on houses he's like becoming a carpenter right now he's already kind of a carpenter but he said he want to have custom made houses you know what i'm saying um that's his brand and he he just has a custom way of seeing things that's his vision and only he can see it only he can do it my brand is is something different i just want to be remarkable in all that i do and all that i meet you know what i'm saying like i tell people all the time i'm love i'm love in human form and if you know me, you know that. Um, and if you don't, and people think love is all woo woo, and that's the thing too. Like it's not love, not all woo woo. Just like the peace, and it's like people think peace is peaceful. It's not love. Not I love you, so I'm gonna tell you some real ass fuck up, ass, fuck the bad shit that might hurt your feelings. But if I don't tell you, the world gonna get you. But I'm love. It's all love. It's all love. It's all love. So. It's hot in this motherfucking car. My homeboy just sent me some stuff. I'm trying to get my body right. I'm trying to get the stuff to get my body right, to get my workout right. Mm. Flim. Flim. I always have flim. Um, so that part i have been watching shit's creek so in 2016 my family lost all of their shit it wasn't katrina it was just a flood in inner baton rouge uh uh baton rouge proper that and a couple of outskirts because y'all know my, my, my people live out in the outskirts but um that caused a lot of people to lose their houses a lot of people had insurance some people did not have insurance but my family lived in a fema trailer my people lived in a fema trailer for almost two and a half years um and I was too poor to get back to get to him. I couldn't get to him. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, you know, that's a that's a, a thing I, I used to struggle with too. But um, so Shit's Creek is hilarious to me. Um, I just found it. I was sitting on my couch one day and I saw it. Um, and so I found it on YouTube on Netflix. So I'm about to go sit and watch that and enjoy that shit. And really, like yesterday I got got off from work, uh <laughs> uh masturbated and went to sleep. Just being honest with you, that's my life. Um I, I, shit and i slept from seven until fucking seven i got up this morning um got all of my teacups out of the room and i drunk my collagen water made me some eggs and rice i love eggs and rice it's certain hood meals that i'm gonna love until the day i die until the day i die until the day i die bitch i don't care how rich i get i'm gonna always have motherfucking eggs and rice bitch and if i had some motherfucking bologna shout out to tiger shout out to tiger and step uh handing them my motherfucking goons they birthdays uh tigers on the fifth uh steps on the eight um these some people i met when i was in motherfucking north carolina i love them more than anything in life they like my extended family if i ever need anything i don't even just gotta call i know i could just show up but tiger always talked about getting some bologna and put it on the grill for me he's so fucking country he could cook his ass out um that's my ex people um and you know what i don't even fuck with my ex that's the one who told me he couldn't see he couldn't see himself marrying a girl like me uh i met him in law school but i fuck with that nigga too i might not fuck with him like relationship wise but his people i love his family i love his family his family so fucking cool um they out yeah, they out in the country so then my people i just thought i had to shout them out um but 
yeah, that part. I was looking at some pictures of myself. I didn't realize how skinny I had got. I had no ass at all. And now I got ass. Now I got ass. And so now I'm, I'm careful that I don't get too big. I was like, comparing pictures of myself. Uh, so that part. Um, but Business Savvy Sunday, work on your brand. What is your brand? Figure it out. See if there's anyone who will help you with your brand. What do you want your, your brand to look like on your body? What do you want, want your brand to look like on paper? What do you want your brand to look like? Branding is extremely, extremely important. Anybody who know me, they're going to say she's smart, but don't play with her. She's crazy, man. She's crazy. Probably. Probably. Um, so I think it's super, super duper, duper important to um let me put my keys back in my thing. Where my keys at? Where my keys at? Um, so I can take y'all out on a good motherfucking song. I don't even know what I, what I did with my car keys. Look, they under my fat. They under my fat. Um, so I can take y'all out on a decent ass song. But brand, 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 brand. That's super, super important. JC said, don't become famous as anyone other than yourself. And that's one of the things I always wanted to make sure of. That's probably why it's taking me so long. It's going to take me a little bit longer than it take you. Oh, I saw this quote that I wanted to share with y'all. If y'all know anything about me, a bitch love a great quote. A bitch love a great quote. A bitch love a great quote. Like, I live for a quote. I live for a quote. Oh, I had a good juice too today. It was like some juice that was like um, specific to the Colombian culture. Oh my God. It was like a, a passion fruit juice. That shit was good. It says, and it's real, and it's, especially if this is Business Savvy Sunday, this is something that really resonated with me. When I talk to managers, I get the feeling that they are important. When I talk to leaders, I get the feeling that I am important. Be a leader. Don't be a manager. Motherfuckers can't stand managers be a leader be a leader which one do you want to be decide what you want to be and add that shit to your brain add that shit to your brand so add that shit to your brand though um it's not anything that you could ever catch me doing that I will ever be like surprise oh my god this is leanne uh y'all thought y'all like somebody else but it's not nah, like anybody you show some shit to somebody about me they're gonna be like oh yeah that makes sense <laughs> that's leanne yeah um so there is that um, I am about to hop off this bitch, go in the house, and, um, watch this creep. Y'all have a blessed motherfucking day. Y'all already know how I feel about commercials. Y'all have a blessed motherfucking day. Um, relax or go get it. Whatever you doing today, just make sure you enjoy it. Go get it because if you don't, you already, you, you already know, you already know somebody else will. Something out of the day, yeah, yeah. I fuck a nigga turn dreams to